Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this lesson, we'll take a look to what is called the point slope form, which is a very good form if a point is given and the slope of that line is given. Like in this picture, you see, you notice we have a point uh, right here. We have the slope, rise and run, or uh, given to us. Uh, that you, that line is unique. We can graph it. We can write the equation in this form, which is called the point slope form. And eventually, we can uh, work this form and get the slope intercept form, which is unique, or the standard form also, which is unique. So let's take a look to this example. I'll write an equation in point slope form for the line that passed through um, 6 and negative 3 over slope of 1 over 3. So I'm going to write that point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And in this form, we're going to uh, plug the point, which is 6 and negative 3, and the slope of 1 over 3. This is x1, uh, this is y1. So let's see what we get. y minus uh, y1, like I said, is negative 3. I'll suggest you to use a parenthesis. Equal m, m is 1 over 3, x minus x1, x1 is 6. The only thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to simplify. And this is uh, an equation of the line that goes through 6 and negative 3 and has a slope of 1 over 3. Of course, this form we can work out. I will show you in the next couple examples and get the slope intercept form or the standard form. But here I, I'm just going to graph this. And I have the point 6 and negative 3. So that means I'm going to go 6 right and 3 down right here. And then I'm going to use this slope of 1 over 3. Remember, this means rise over run. So from here, from this point, I have to go uh, either 1 up and 3 right, which is not possible for me because I do not have enough space, or 1 down and 3 left, like this. I can put another point here following the same pattern, 1 down, 3 left, just for drawing a better graph. This is the graph of the line that passes through 6 and negative 3 and has a slope of 1 over 3. A very similar example, the only difference, now the point is given to us on the graph, the point is 1 and 3. We need to find the slope using the graph eventually and then write the equation an equation in the point slope form. So let me write one more time the point slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m is the slope and uh, x1 and y1 represent, if you remember, the coordinates of the given point. We have that is right here, x1 and y1. The only thing we need to find out is the slope. For that reason, I'm going to take a look on this line and see if I can find another point that is helpful. What do I mean by that? A point like this, you notice, easy to be identified in case you want to use the slope formula. Well, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the slope triangle. You notice here, this is the triangle I'm going to use. Or you can use the, one, the other one uh, up here. And I'm going to count. One, two, three, four. So if you remember, that is the rise. going to leave some space. The rise was 4 and the run was is 1, 1 space. So 4 over 1. I have some empty space here just in case I need it. In this case I don't because this line goes up from left to right. So the slope is, I can put a plus here, just 4. So I need to write the equation of the line that has a slope of 4 and pass through the point 1 and 3. And now is the same like the previous example. y minus 
y1, which is 3, equals m, which is 4, x minus x1, which is 1. And that's it. Another example, very similar to that one. We just finish. Uh, the point is 3 and negative 1. We're going to find the slope. I guess this will be a good way to find the slope. The rise is 2. The run is 3. So let's do that first. Rise over run. And that will be 2 over 3. And in this case, we need a negative. Why? The line is going down from left to right. And the point given to us is 3 and negative 1. I'm going to write one more time the formula, which I will suggest you to do it so you can remember in case you need it. And we have y minus y1. That is negative 1 equals m negative 2 over 3 x minus x1 3. The only thing I'm going to do in this form, I'm going to simplify this double negative. That becomes a positive. Uh, negative 2 over 3, x minus 3. And this is an equation in the point slope form of the line that you see that goes through that point and has a slope of negative 2 over 3. In some problem, you have to go from point slope form uh, to the standard form or from point slope form to the slope intercept form. And let's take a look here. Uh, write uh, this form in the standard form. If you remember, the standard form look like this one, ax plus by equal c. So how are we going to handle this given equation, which is in the point slope form, by the way? to get that standard form. So for the first thing you're going to do is distributive property. And we have y minus 1 equals negative 3x minus 6. And now I notice x and y are on the same sides. And remember, a should be a positive number. So that's the reason I will add 3x here. And I have... I'm going to start with the x term, plus 3x, or just 3x, plus y, minus 1, equals negative 6. I have to do one more thing. I need to get rid of this minus 1. I'm going to add 1. And I'm going to have 3x plus y equals negative 5. This is the uh, standard form of the given equation. Uh, very similar here. The only difference you notice we have that fraction. So um, let's see how we handle these. Whenever I need to write the standard form from this point slope, form or even from the slope intercept form and I have a fraction, the first thing I'm going to do is to eliminate the fraction, the denominator. So in case, this case, I'm going to eliminate the 2 you see here. I'm going to multiply by 2. The same thing on the other side. I'll suggest you to use parentheses. And these two now cancel out. So my next row will be, and I'm, I'm going to go slow. I'm going to have, I'm going to copy. Some of you can move faster. Uh, that's what we get, just the two cancel out. And now I'm going to use distributive property. And I'm going to have here 2y uh, minus 4 equal. Now here we can use distributive property or just simply switch the sign. So we have here negative x. And here we have negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. And again, I want to get that standard form, ax plus by equal c. So I'm going to add x on both sides. And also, if you want to move faster, you can add 4 
here to get rid of this minus 4. If you wanna, if you don't want to get lost, you can go step by step like in the previous problem. So this x is cancel out and this 4 cancel out. So we have here x or plus x by just x is good plus 2y equals 1 plus 4 is 5. And this is the standard form of the point slope form given in our problem. Very similar, we can work this point law slope form and get the slope intercept form. And we have here y minus 1 equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 2. Distributive property. And we have negative 3x minus 6. And remember, the slope intercept form is this one y equals mx plus b. So now how we get uh, just y, we're going to add 1 here to eliminate this minus 1. Of course, you have to do the same thing on the other side. So we eliminate this 1 here and we have y equals negative 3x minus 5. This is the slope intercept form of the given equation. This one is unique since the point slope form obviously depends on the point you write the equation. Uh, let's see this one. y minus 2 equals negative 1 half x minus 1. Since we need y equals mx plus b, this slope intercept form, I'm not going to multiply by 2. No reason for that. I'm going to use just distributive property. I have y minus 2 equals negative 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2. And now we want to get rid of the minus 2, so I'm going to add 2. And here you can do the same thing, add 2, but the best way to approach, instead of writing that 2 in this form, write it as 4 over 2. You notice this is also 2 like this one here, the same quantity, right? But I prefer to write it in this form as a fraction because I have here one half. So let's see now what we get. These two cancel out. That's the reason we add. And we have y equals negative 1 over 2x plus, and here we have 1 half plus 4 halves. That is 5 halves. So this is the slope intercept form of the given equation uh, in our problem. And um, th that's it for this lesson. Um, if you enjoyed this lesson, uh, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.